Heyo everyone! Oops. I'm Freeze Engine and welcome back to the Sinking City. Super early stream for me at least today. It's 6 a.m. where I am and I've I've got to go to work in two hours. Um, and normally I'd say you know I'm gonna stream. Uh, I'm gonna stream during the evening and stuff. But since I have to pack my bags, quite literally, since I have to go, I don't have to go, since I want to go, <laughs> since I want to go on vacation next week, um, there won't be any stream today in the evening. But then I, I thought to myself, you know, why don't I stream very early before I go to work? Um, like, instead of streaming not at all or not not streaming at all wow uh you can clearly tell it's very early for me so ha huh. but you know every morning has to start and the best way to start your morning is with a g fuel which is what i did also the forbidden g fuel if you know what i mean Ah, so nice. Now, wasn't there any sound during the main menu? That was kind of weird. Let me just see if I actually unmuted everything. Yeah, all right. We did, we did. You can hear everything. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. All right. Ah, there's the game sound. Very nice. So last time uh, we continued our... Now I can see chat. Last time we continued with our quest to find out... Holy crap, this is early. Yes, tell me about it. <laughs> but welcome, Randy. How are you, my friend? Um, we were in the search of Mr. Cavendish, Professor or Dr. Cavendish, since we have a lot of evidence saying, <laughs> morning friends, morning Castlevania, hope you're as tired as I am, um, we can almost be safe to assume that he poisoned the fish, uh, which EOD, the charitable company, or whatever you might call it, is giving away to poor people even. Um, yeah, that is why we need to get to the bottom of this. It's not even noon right now. Uh, but here I am. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it again since you weren't there like at the very get go of the stream. The reason why I'm streaming this early today is because I won't be able to uh, start a live stream in the evening, what I would have usually done with Han Shoyan or something, since I'm going on vacation next week. And that means I gotta pack all my bags, quite literally. Um, and that means that I won't be able to stream next week. And I won't be able to stream in the evening today since I've got to pack all my stuff. So I said, hey, why don't I do a bit of a shorter stream, but super early for me, uh, instead of not streaming at all. That's why I'm here right now, right here with you. So this is where we searched Constitution Street, Carpenter Street, blah, blah. And we marked it here. So let's just, just check every door since it was kind of a... Uh, But now that I think about it, this seems kind of obvious, doesn't it? Alright, why is there no H or something here? And the thing is, I haven't really prepared all that many videos. Um, so I'm not sure if there even will be any video content. Um, but I'll see, maybe I can create something today. Uh, maybe a match spotlight or whatever so that I have one upload at least next week 
Uh, tag from the baby carriage. If you want it, take it. It's free. Okay. So anyone looking for a baby, well, you're too late. Flat number two is his flat. That just means we gotta smash our way in, right? We won't be knocking or anything. We'll just go straight to smashing. Dr. Cavendish, this is the police. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. And why keep it around? Well, maybe it's an important, important item to him. Maybe the symbol of a lost love or something. Just, you know, stealing from him. Can we craft anything, by the way? No, of course not. Not able to craft anything. There's another note. The professor's factless. Westerbrook usually has his lunch about half past two. Get some soap. Anna always stays at the fish market. Uh, she shouldn't learn about me. New hauls of fish arrive every two days. An ounce per box will be enough. The guard spends most of his time on the second floor during the night. Think about a way to divert suspicion from Westerbrook. Don't want him to come to any harm. Don't forget to return the flask of, uh, to the storage. Think about plan B. Wow. All right. He did his research. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. So he does want to cause the EOD harm. Newspaper issue, March. Going, going, gone. A body count rises as vanishing continues across Oakmont. Locals are in a panic with the most with most of the reported disappearances occurring in these shells, Salvation Harbor and Grimhaven Bay. Grimhaven Bay. Captain Caleb Lyons of the Oakmont Police has put out a call for information. Our evidence suggests a link between the disappearances and the charity organization EOD that has recently risen to prominence among the city's poor, said Lyons. Most of the victims seem to have either joined this group or been a recipient of their arms. We encourage anyone with information to come forward. Don't know why I gave him this uh, snobby British accent, but I'm just gonna roll with it. The Chronicle reminds readers to avoid any as suspicious newcomers, especially insmouthers, and to remain at home during evening hours. Stay alert. Wow. News oh newspaper issue February F February February. Disturbances in the shells as fighting breaks out between locals and insmouthers. The cause of the conflict appeared to be the disappearance of several women with locals accusing a group of insmouthers of the crime. The open police continues to investigate the vanishings, but as of yet, but as yet the case remains unsolved. One source from the shells reports that traces of fish scales and seaweed were found at multiple victims' homes, which seems to have precipitated the fight. This guy is basically evil. Yeah, he has uh, evil written all over his apartment, at least. Scheming, uh, scheming planning boards and weird facts and a map and stuff. And also, it's eerily clean. That's what I just noticed. There's nothing really lying around, you know, except for one meal. Maybe he had a tragic story, you, know, you never know. Okay, let's check our mind's eye if we can find anything else here. Oh, well, there has been a broken bottle. Two of them even. One broken, one unbroken. He has one of those uh, amulets. Question is, will, like... Will these claims hold up? Did the Innsmouthers really commit these crimes or are they being framed? 
you know. EOD ranks are swelling. EOD wants to gain followers by doing travel work. EOD suspected crimes. Maybe that's why Anna is uh, so strict, you know. No. Oh well. But is there nothing else here? Except the telephone. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. Why keep it around? You ask him, where is he even? I'm not sure. I know his wife was kidnapped, uh or I I guess his wife was kidnapped, he was convinced he was Ooh, now that you mention it, that could actually be. Oh, there's another door here. Alright. Door won't budge. What's oh let's just investigate it uh normally once. Probably why the ring was there. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, he. This kind of seems like a revenge kind of thing. Swings right open. You won't budge. <laughs> yeah, I kinda. Smashed it with my good old trusty shovel. Let's enter the spiritual realm. You will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. Oh, what? If she says her child is blessed by the sea. Did she have an affair with an Innsmouther? And gave birth to an Innsmouth-like child with the fish features? Is Anna his wife? That kind of looks like Anna with the short hair and stuff. And he gave... Oh, did he then then just like... Gave gave away the baby? Or give away the baby? Oh my god. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. Oh my god. This... I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna. I thought the child was mine. <laughs> mine. <laughs> okay. Big brain. Let's see what we have here. Oh, dude, you were so right. That actually is kind of tragic, huh? So she George, tells him about this. I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. She tells him that she had a child that obviously I isn't his. I care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna. I thought the child was mine. Hmm. Mine. <laughs> oh, damn. Now I'm feeling very bad for him. And then she just leaves to continue. And, like, how, how happy and giddy up she was when we met her. What's wrong you with her? Understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. George yeah. Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. Claimed by the EOD. Wow. Ugh, what was that? Definitely called. Yeah. That is has cult written all over it. No joke. God, why do I always uh, pass out? Maybe I'm not drinking enough. Oh my! I was about to say, am I in the upside down? Sheesh, dude. Oh, that scared the freak out of me. Ooh, what the frick? Who, 
who are you? What, what are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's True. breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. Explain yourself. Well, did Anna really send us? No, Cavendish. Time for you to do some explaining. Care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse? And you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry. Is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game. And believe me, I've got plenty of anger for the both of us. How dare you? I'm only going to ask politely once. Then my gun will do the talking. Fine. Fine. I mean, it was kind of a yes, dick move for him to poison be. all this stuff. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. But you hurt, like, people unrelated to your dispute. There's ways to hurt a company without <laughs> poisoning their products and poisoning the people... Poor people, by the way. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent As people? I've said, yeah. You know the EOD of feeding the hungry, don't you? No. That's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. Not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this. How? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. Amogus. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. Sure, I get it, but couldn't you, like, use a poison that would, like, upset your stomach or something and not ricin that freaking kills you painfully over the course of a month? What the fuck? What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... Was Basically, the guy's trying to make a smear campaign. Yeah, but yeah, while also potentially the killing EOD a lot of poor citizens. Of her. Oh my god. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it well, for some time, but then I'm just gonna go on record and say that cults yeah. suck. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, the snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. Oh, yeah, we heard it was that. Demanded by the EOD. Doom take them. I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. I can understand his anger, truthfully. Just like no Russia <laughs> COD. <coughs> <coughs> Kind of, yeah. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Look, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. Hmm. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. Well, that's kind of... That's kind of the thing when going against some someone or something uh, that has a lot of power, especially in the underground stuff. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. <clears throat> but after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? The thing is, now, I totally get his cause. And I would definitely try to help him. 
bringing down the corrupt side of EOD, you know what I mean? But I'm not sure how he wants to achieve this. Like, th there's genuinely people like the, uh, the warehouse guard, for example, who thinks the EOD is doing good work and they're good people. Not every everyone is like that super bad cultist member or whatever. Some of them really believe in the cause and that's the problem. Let's just ask. Bless we already know, but still. What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Oh, that's disgusting. Degenerate fish-faced offspring. Like, not the whole thing, but the way he says it all where did you learn all this this information about the EOD after Anna left I had nothing but I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers the EOD we saw that <laughs> it is an old and powerful organization they appeared back in the mid 19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth syndrome started showing up around that same time. Hmm. Coincidence? Uh, perhaps not coincidentally. We think no, not. Of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. Hmm. Well, let's just say we're listening, because we actually want to. Bring them down, right? Now, what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent I won't the EOD poison that shit with ricin. That's your <clears throat> we won't poison the fish with ricin, right, guys? You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex wife. You come down to that. This madness has to stop. And I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Oh, no, no. You, you don't understand. Oh, he actually wants to. Oh, shit. Wait, I don't actually wanna, like, smash his skull in or anything. Can't even, like, I had to fight him with a shovel. Well, did I freak up, guys? But. <laughs> Listening. Die, motherfucker. Well, I decided to uh, go with Die, motherfucker. Since. You see, I want to take down this organization, this cult. But not, uh, not with his ways. You know what I mean? <clears throat> oh well. Poisoning was a sabotage. Sabotage. Anna Cavendish became pregnant with a child who was blessed by the sea. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Should have an option to reason with him. Think was the right choice. Thank you. Um, hold on. We need to talk to Anna as well because of all this. George Cavendish poisoned the fish to undermine the EOD's charitable operations. Is there anything else we can do yet? Anna Cavendish is a zealous servant of the EOD and she will follow any instruction without hesitation. Okay. But that leaves one EOD suspected of kidnappings and assault by the police. That leaves that one open. I'm sorry, but I guess he's at peace now. I guess we can keep telling ourselves that. So what are the the two deductions we can actually do? 
George Cavendish became a des became desperate after EOD robbed him of his wife. He's determined to save the to save others from the same fate. George Cavendish is a dangerous psychopath who won't hesitate to kill innocents to achieve his goals. He is a psychopath, right? <sighs> this game is so good at questioning your morals. I'll say it every time I have to do these sort of uh, decisions, but damn, I can understand his thing, his shtick. This guy didn't seem entirely evil, but yeah, we'll root EOD out later. I hope so, yeah. Uh, well, he's determined to save others from the same fate. It's kind of wrong because he's willingly killing people. So I'm going to go with... Dangerous psychopath. Agree? Or don't you guys agree? I hope you agree. Because his, his cause was good, but his execution was flawed. Is what I'm trying to get at, right? He's a psycho, sure. He has no understandable motives for killing random people with a nerf. Nerf agent, yeah. He is a psychopath. Glad you you had the same deductions as I had. Anna Cavendish is covering up for the EOD's shady ambition to take over the city. Anna Cavendish does honest charity work for the people of Oakmont on behalf of the EOD. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure she knows what's up. If she's willing to give up her husband and everything and even was a... As she even cheated on her husband. She's not an honest benefactor. I'm just going to decide that right away. But I think we should talk to Anna. Because there's still something I need to connect, I think. Hold on. How do we get... To the fish market the fastest way. Boat. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the boat. I like that this game kind of lets you make questionable choices. I agree, Randy. I agree. Because not a lot of games take you there, right? Most of the time, the decisions are kind of cut and dry, black and white, you know? There's either you are or someone is very, very evil or someone is clearly uh, the good guy, you know what I mean? But this game... This game is really good. I like saying, hey, I guess you could say they're evil, but are they really? And you're like right in the middle of this moral conflict. So, right, left, all right. Wait, right. Oh, yeah. Some games are so bad, they actually had to make a good guy bad just to make the choice gray. <laughs> I agree with you, yeah. And it's like... Often it's like this really, as you've said, this really obvious uh, and desperate attempt to make the good guy bad. Like, he goes out of his way and he goes against all his character development or whatever and just be like, ah! By the way, I'm bad now because of reasons. And you're just left there, uh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me, but if you say so. Like Far Cry 4, Sabal. I will Far Cry, I will Far Cry 4. Yes, thank you, Brain. I will play Far Cry 4. With that in mind. <laughs> Let's see. Can, 
Can we talk to it? See you later. Hold on, just I just want to see if I can talk to anyone else here. If he isn't a religious fanatic, he would be a freaking saint. <laughs> oh wow, you look creepy. This used to be an okay place to live. What are you selling, mister? I don't see any goods. I offer what everyone in this Borg needs. Isn't that the security guy? And comfort. You a newcomer? Or maybe he's Where twin. The Devil's Reef Hotel. <laughs> oh, oh, Victor always thinks so small. A man of your talents could earn his board a hundred ways. Maybe you want some more spending money. And a job for a Let's see. Eye, mister. I'm always up for but that's often the case with these religious sure. fanatics. Like, like as with Cavendish, I'm Walter. Mm, they have kind of honorable core means. Local fauna. But then they are like, uh, to achieve this beautiful paradise, we have to all take cyanide. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You need a gun for hire. I need you to place these incense burners on the top floor of my properties. Mm. Drive off the wild beasts. Smoke that repels wild beasts. Of course it will. No doubt. Now, okay. Well, we just earned a side quest. Business. All my life I was a common fisk trader. But I wanted more. I dreamed of being a landlord, a man who never works. Landlords do so work. <laughs> and, and bought several houses. Gonna rent them to the rep. See you later. All right. I thought he might have, you know, something else to tell me. But then I guess let's just drop the bomb here. There's nothing else we can do in our mind plays, right? Mm. I guess, at least. Or is there anything we're missing? Alright. They look so gross, yeah. Don't we all, fish guy? We all want to be someone who's just rich and doesn't have to work. I found the poisoner and dealt with him. He won't be bothering you anymore. Oh, see, bless you, Charlie. That's great news. Who was it? Well, see, now that's the interesting part. <laughs> Let's see how she George's reacts. Husband, George Cavendish. Oh. Well, oh, that son right. of a rotten shark finally got what was coming to him. Good riddance. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. You're, you are oddly calm. <laughs> You're taking this remarkably well for a woman who just found out her ex-husband was a poisoner. He's nobody to me. The EOD is my family now. We serve a higher purpose than he could ever grasp. My life she definitely life. hides something. You've done us both a huge favor by relieving him of the But you know, this is, this is how Loco these cults that make people this girl is like not even bothered by that like she's oh i know he was like an asshole because he didn't join me in my cult so what all right no more messing around get me in touch with your grand pooba or whoever's in charge grand pooh bear easy there charlie i'm a woman of my word go to the basement of the fish market it's nearby. You'll find an inn smother there by the name of Maurice. Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. I always get to think of that okay, monkey answers. meme with Maurice. About time. <laughs> About fucking time. Well, there's nothing else in the mind palace. We can't do anything with the deductions as well, right? Oh, 
guess we gotta wait. Uh, to the basement, I guess. A wise man once said, if you can justify one crime, you can justify all of them. That's kind of true. I don't know who said that, though. Probably just ag agreed with some horrible person, right? <laughs> Let's just hope this is not a trap. Is this... I don't know. With these cults, you never know. Maybe they just want to get rid of me or something. Let me do their dirty work, and then... You know. Oh. I think there was a first aid kit in here. Yeah, first aid kit. Nice. Oh, there he is. Better stock up on bullets. I think I'm all... Oh, hold on. Can I... Uh, skills. I have some knowledge points. Should I get the update? Uh, not update, but upgrade. Mm, hold on. Where was it? Extra clip. Carry seven more pistol rounds. Let's get that. And then we can actually get some more pistol rounds. Hold on. Then let, let's let loot this thing again to see if we can actually... Ah, it's for the revolver. Alright. Stock up on bullets. Got it. Anything here now? Oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Well, all right. This is when Hunt showed on real fast. Oh, you want to fucking fight? Freaking called it. We all freaking called it. Fucking Anna. That stupid bitch, sorry, but I gotta tell it like it is. Damn. Good call, Randy. <laughs> she fucking set you up, yeah. What a... Freaking broads. You know, as soon... I was about to say, like, no shit. As soon as I saw there was one guy standing here, I was about to say, oh, they're gonna jump me, right? And then he freaking... There's a note at Maurice's. Oh. I don't see it. But probably, like, back there, right? Yeah, I was about to say, uh... They're gonna jump me, and before I could even speak, they jumped me. <laughs> oh, and my inventory? Hold on. Uh, I mean, casebook, right? Uh, Anna sent me to contact the high-ranking member of EOD in Innsmouth, her name Maurice. I will find him in the basement of the fish market. I am to tell him she sent me. Note to Maurice. <laughs> that fucking bitch. Oh my god. When or where did she get this photo? Thanks, Randy. Uh, kind of didn't catch that. I was in the flow. Hold on, let us photograph the crime scene as always. You freaking called it, yeah. But now... Oh, I didn't use my revolver, right? Okay, is there any new... Nope. But is there nothing I can do here? 
no notes, no nothing. It was just like just a freaking setup. Let's just get this on camera real quick. All right. Oh, it's getting dark. I guess that's why we got a free first aid kit back there. I'm gonna shoot Anna in her face, no freaking joke. Hey, hey, Mr. Reed. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for Professor Lowe, ain't that right? The scientist to order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? Mm. You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. <sighs> Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. Nope. Except right. poison fish. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You've been inkling what's coming? I want out of the order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. That's how death, cults work, kind of. Somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. I have no idea how to help you. With well, that. I could drive you to devil's you. teeth yeah, with my little boat. Smugglers who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See? I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. Mm, all right. What is this order you mentioned? Basically, EOD is $1,000 a cult, and this guy is trying to get out. Yeah. EOD. It really stands for the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I'm so stupid. From the depths of the sea. In books, they show him as a monstrous amphibian. The ends mouthers worship him as a god. And of course, they make sacrifices to him. Oh my god, my mind is blown. <laughs> I've spent so much time, like, back in the day, like, researching this stuff um, while I played the other Call of Cthulhu game, Dark Corners of the Earth. And it's all about the, the Order of Dagon as well. I, oh, why didn't I think of that? Had better be worth it. I know where if they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you. All right, I'll find you a way out. Report to Throgmorton. We all didn't think of it till now. <laughs> oh, you look healthy. Hello. Oh, Anna's gone. Freaking me. Guess you can get rid of this, right? But now, hold on, we gotta go to Throckmorton Manor. Is there a faster way there? Mm. Drive over here, or... Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. All right. But that's like good on the game, you know? The game actually deceiving you. And you questioning everything you think you know. Report to. Yeah, yeah, alright. We need to report. That's so cool. So well crafted. EOD. What was uh, the initial thing? Everyone's everyone's obvious duty or something, right? <clears throat> Esoteric order of Dagon. Little fun fact though. 
while I was in uh, high school, I guess you could call it. And I was like all up into this whole Cthulhu mythos kind of thing. I'm very interested in all that. <laughs> I had a friend um, who shared like that interest in that. And we once wrote a recruitment letter or a recruitment letter for the esoteric order of Dagon. Like just as a kind of mock-up, you know. <laughs> and we wanted to kind of like spread spread a rumor that there was actually some sort of uh, cult or something in the school. <laughs> like the shit kids do. It's so nice. If Eurekin came up with that, I came up with that. <laughs> Friendly and personal. I Sign me up, dude. I'll join. <laughs> that sounds really nice. <laughs> Friendly and personal. Mr. Throgmorton. Well, oh, that's cake. <laughs> I was about to ask, what the frick? Why did they slice him up? Did this game, like, predict the whole fad of everything is being recreated as hyper-realistic cake? What the frick? Is that, like, some sort of, uh, ritual or something? <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of funny stuff, I'm ready to hear it. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The fishy. Actually, most of the EOD members I met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You ought to examine your prejudices. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? No, I'm calling you a monkey. Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for <coughs> those who fan the flames of hatred. Always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son for Hashtag sake. Shura ending. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect? Would also, happen? your son you was killed because of the expedition. And leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. I shall think about what you said. All right. Thank you. Ah, back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Dow. Have a promising lead. Do you have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Yes. Fair. I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you. Wow. Oh, we got the shotgun, people! Crown and King time! Whoop! So we kind of missed one clue, probably. Not sure what that could have helped us, you know. Fathers and sons. Fred told me he knows where the EOD is. Give him to Harriet. Leader of the last expedition I'm seeking. He won't tell me the location. He'll arrange safe passage for him. He suggested using the local smuggling ring. He believes the smuggling smugglers communicate secretly using advertisements for Salvation Harbor and the local newspaper. Okay. Let's just tune up our skills. 
Grenades, fireballs have increased range. Traps hold enemies for longer. Oh, set traps twice as quickly. Could be good. Is there more? Should we just increase our vitality for now? I think that would be a good call. Just to kind of strengthen our foundation, right? Oh, you're all monkeys. Oh, monkey. Ah, newspaper. Paper of the news. Oakman Chronicle is where we need to go, I guess. <laughs> Monkey man. <laughs> Um, oh, we can walk there. That's good. Just gotta turn it around. Oop. Sorry, mister. Uh, don't know what to call you in English. Bowie. Bew. Boy. So, we gotta walk uh, right. One, two, all right, and then left. Ah, yeah, so the funny story I told you about. Yeah, hit me with it. <laughs> I'm so ready. Someone getting beaten again here. In Hunt Showdown, the Kit DLC. Oh, they teased that, right? Two revolvers, I think, or something like that. Probably something with Billy the Kid. In French, it was translated to Les Enfants. All right. Billy, <laughs> Billy the infant. <laughs> <coughs> well, maybe. <coughs> Fucking hell. Maybe that's like uh, Hunt's twist on the character, like just a baby wielding two revolvers. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> Goo Goo Gaga. I'm a. I'm a. Wait. <laughs> I'm I'm missing a certain piece of vocabulary that I can't seem to recall right now. Oh, Gugu Gaga, I'ma hit punch you is what I'm uh oh, Gugu Gama Fucking hell my brain, what the fuck? Gugu Gaga, I'ma aim punch you is what I was trying to say. Thanks. Tell that to my brain. Oh my god. That was the worst delivery of any... <laughs> Kubo Kama. <laughs> oh my god. Brain, why? So, people... Probably commoners. Advertisements. Salvation Harbor. Uh, blah blah blah. For salvation, oh no, local newspaper. Can we glow like after the flood? Ah, yeah. <laughs> cool. This fucker was always funnier than a joke you were trying to attack. Gubukama. <laughs> toothless Bob's wake. The time has come to end to send Toothless Bob on his final journey. This time to the Seven Oaks Bar at the crossroad of Calm Shores Saint, uh, Calm Shores Street and Salvation Road in Western, Western Salvation Harbor. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> well, glad I could entertain you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> like, 
now I just have the confirmation that this is almost too early for my brain. <clears throat> uh, where is Salvation Harbor? And it is... Hold up. Seven Oaks Bar, Comshore Street, Salvation Road. Comshore Street... Salvation Road. Com... Oh, there's Salvation Road. Comshore Street. Alright. Uh, place mark. Toothless Bob's Awake. How do we even get there? The fastest way, I mean. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, got it. <laughs> Google Gamma is gonna. I'm gonna turn that into a meme. When I was in elementary school, I was an unpopular kid because my future career career homework was denied. Oh God, tell me what <laughs> what future career did you try to pick? <laughs> Except, of course, uh, becoming a villain, as you've as you've said last time. Can we get up there, by the way? What the fuck? Dude! Why is it able to kill us? Sorry. Wanted to shoot the... Oh, for fuck's sake, dude! you. I just want to bash your brains in. You're going into my suspect list. Well, I mean, I shot you. But oh, we can't get up there. Alright. Just chill the fuck out. Menacingly follows me around trying to punch the ever-living shite out of me. I write in <laughs> mob boss. Well, they were laughing back then. Guess they're not laughing uh, now anymore. Once you become the kingpin you know, of Thailand. Oh, this is so... Oh, this is so weird here. Hold up. <laughs> My boss. Well, you know, I would, I would even give you the benefit of the doubt. If you told me you were a mob boss secretly, I would believe you, since you are full of surprises. Just keep right. So basically, we have two memes now. <laughs> Kubo Kama and Fuck Off. <laughs> yes, these are the two active memes on the channel, I guess. That's a cool looking boat. There's so much to discover here as well on these waterways. Can I... Can I drive? Kubokama. <laughs> the more I think about it, the funnier it gets. <laughs> oh my god. Like, how bad can a brain frick up, you know? The answer is... Pretty bad. <clears throat> You think I would be able to <laughs> recite baby babble? It's just like 
goo goo ga ga. It's like two separate sounds. Just right after another. But nope, I'm not able to. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna turn this into a short just so everyone can follow the meme. Oh, let's head left here. And I'm just gonna call it the rise of Gubugama. <laughs> oh shit. I'll follow Salvation Road. Men's finest clothing. It'd be cool if you could go shopping. Shopping for some new clothes. All right, it's right in front. <clears throat> no, I think I see it already. Seven Oaks. New location just dropped. Are you with the police? It's you, the man who made the boss blow a gasket. <laughs> Caleb never thought a newcomer would make him look such a fool to Mr. Throgmorton. It's not my fault you guys didn't check the warehouse. Uh, I know. No hard feelings, pal. You're weird looking, but as long as you're friendly. Uh, maybe you can help me with another one. The name's Sam Shaw. The name's Sam Shaw. Let's talk. Didn't I hear something about a prohibition? Uh, of course. This place merely sells juice. Old sure. Old fermented grape juice. <laughs> a tonic for your health. So, how about that business? We can talk, but I don't work for free. Uh, I know, I know. Still, the task is simple, so I can't offer a lot. I just need a few photos of crime scenes. Well, you say? I'm your man. Tell me where to find the bodies. Here are three file cards with names and addresses. Bring me photos of the victims, then I can start to get this moving again. I'll be waiting upstairs for those three photos. Please, try to be discreet in this matter. Always. Take care. I'm always discreet. Hello, sir. One fine old and ripe grape juice, please. A little bird told me there are people in Oakmont who Go off to find photos, catch just Everybody the killer left. solo. What makes you think I, I could make him look like a fool as well. I've heard they're having a wake for toothless. Calling it. True, we'll see. But I don't know you from Adam. This is actually a side case that I would like to do, you know? It doesn't sound too complicated, is what I mean. <clears throat> Actions speak louder than words. Maybe I can prove myself by helping you out with something. Solving problems is my specialty. Okay. What about a little favor? Nothing fancy, don't worry. I expected All right. a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. Find out what's taken him so long. Here's the address. Got it. One more thing. If you don't find him, Bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life, if you catch my drift. Oh, the water of life. Alright. But, hold on. Let's just see. Um, Extra hours. Where are these locations? Let me in a penthouse. Read heights. Mm. Central Salvation Harbor. And this one is Old Grove. Should we just photograph the fishing house crime scene since I'm running tight on time? 
Like instead of opening this whole thing with uh, the courier and where is he and what's in that package, we could just do a part one of the of a side quest that we have. Basically full of old fermented grape juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good old fermented grape juice. Of course, no problems. Sounds good, right? So, 7 Oak Street between Octopus Avenue and Skipper Road. 7 Oak Street, Octopus Avenue. And... Skipper Road, so basically here. All right. On Seven Oaks Street between Octopus Avenue and Skipper Road. Guess it's gotta be. Oh, Skipper Road, Octopus Avenue. It's gotta be like here somewhere. Hold on. Let's see. Then we can even unlock the fast travel point right here. Legit would be boring for me with no no stream next week. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, oh well, I'm I'm just gonna cancel my vacation. You know. I mean, Randy needs his entertainment. My girlfriend will understand. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll see if I can prepare something that you can at least I don't know wonder where you will go for the vacation though hmm curious uh, no just kidding I'll be visiting Austria <laughs> do not talk oh shit um since you know with the whole Roni business and I'm not really into flying away. And using airplanes in general or planes in general. And also, I only got one week since, like, this year has been scuffed considering vacation and stuff like that. But that was, like, the reason we thought, you know what? Austria is, like, one of my favorite places to visit just because it's, like, a four hour drive if everything's good. Uh, from from where I live and that just basically makes getting there very easy and very comfy and yes as you've said it is a beautiful country I mean if you want to go hiking if you're keen on hiking and mountains in general Austria is paradise for you you remember this saying <laughs> no talking, or which one do you mean? Oh, it's right here, probably. Hold on. Just need uh, to make a quick uh, three turn. One, two, three. It's gotta be right here, I guess. Right on the anchor. Or is it on this side? What does our, our casebook say? The house of J.R. Nelson, one of the victims, one of the victims, is located in Central Salvation Harbor, blah blah. He ran the place. Greatest achievement of Austria is convincing the world Mozart is Austrian and <laughs> Hitler is German. <laughs> true. Kinda true. Oh. Get fucked. Get fucked. Get fucked. Oh well. Honey, get the revolver. Why did you get up again? Oh god, oh god, oh god, fuck, try shotgun, I will, <laughs> oh, but these weren't super hard 
people. There was like just this ghosty thingy that shot me as well, and that kind of freaked me over. Yeah, like Austria and Germany, they're so similar. It gets a bit wishy washy, you know. It gets a bit gubugama with all that, with all the details and stuff, you know. <clears throat> I haven't saved even once, I just realized. Ooh, almost took a little dive there. But once I come back, uh, streams will be in full force again. As always. Can we, oh, we don't have any gunpowder as well. Alright. Let's reload. Uh, we need some grape juice. Let's <laughs> turn to flying boat. Gives me that GTA San Andreas uh, vibes. With the flying cars and stuff. Oh, now there's no enemies here. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Now that's a lot of damage. Hold on. Craft one first aid kit. Craft us some bullets here. Good. Uh, all right, all right, all right. And of course, no enemy <laughs> prepared. I was, I was thinking the same thing. Like now that I know there's danger here, no one around anymore. They just thought, ah, we killed him. That's our job done. I know there's uh, the. Wait, can we carry something more now? Is there anything else? Ah, another shell casing. All right. <clears throat> they did their job. Oh, well, fucking there we go. Oh, there they are now. Walk the zigzag. Hold on. I'm not stupid. Oh, I don't have any bombs. All right. How long do you have to reload? What the fuck? Well, this will be a waste of health. Get trapped, bitch. Nice finisher. Oh, but Fatty back there is still alive. Can we hit your meat sack from behind? Ooh! Oh, I should have been a sniper. Why is my aim that good here and that bad in Hunt Showdown? <laughs> that was beautiful. Thanks. The precision of an eagle. Gunpowder, shell casing. <clears throat> J.R. Nelson membership card. This card certifies that J.R. Nelson was a member in good standing of the Oakmont Photo Club since they joined after the flood. First aid, nice. Oh, I can't go through here, right? Maybe there's something to be found. Um, so it is a double barrel. I thought it was uh, kind of a Crown King Auto style. Good morning, e and <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Don't worry, I will end my stream in about 15 minutes, so don't worry. Go to work, my friend. <laughs> is it time for your morning shit? <laughs> Just gonna say it like it is. <laughs> 
fishing crime scene. Key evidence collected. So anything hidden here now? I don't think so. Or do you are you working the late shift today? Hmm. I guess we got that, right? Everything done is so far. Pretty good. Nothing else here, as far as I can tell. I'm home, it's starting at 8 a.m. Uh, but I'm going to shit. <laughs> That's good. So, uh, we're kind of in the same boat. Easier than expected, yeah. But I think these uh, side cases are, for the most part, as far as I can tell, though. Pretty straightforward. Just doing a little bit of investigating. Shotgun is powerful. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you gotta place your shots right and get the timing right since you only have two shots. <clears throat> but it does a lot of damage. Yeah. And we can even upgrade it as well. So once we get some more, what's it called? Like basically skill points and stuff. We will upgrade it as well. Guess we could craft some. Ooh, I always forget that you <laughs> stand up when doing that. Oh, we're missing gunpowder. But we've got plenty of ammo here. I think we'll we'll save the metal scrap and gunpowder for some more shotgun shotgun rounds, right? Just so we have that plan B in case something really big tries to attack us. Guess we could, uh... We can give the officer the pictures right now, I think. Oops. Ah, yes, the human insect meathead thing. <laughs> In case we face another one of these meathead thingies, we have the shotgun now. Can I rob you? Uh, I mean, can I borrow something from you? We can go in the basement. G Fuel with coffee for the big kick. Uh, well, yeah, I got my G Fuel. Uh, that's probably why I will have to make a small or long session after this stream. <laughs> why am I even talking about this? Mister... Didn't he say he was upstairs? <clears throat> oh, that's the Winfield Terminus, right? Oh, it's the same one we have. Kinda. He'll need that energy for packing things. <laughs> yes, I actually do need that. I, I haven't packed anything as of yet. No joke. Mm. I guess we... He probably appears once we have all the photos. All three photos to the private room. Yeah, all right. So, with that being said, I think we need to heal once more, just so we're back at almost full health. <laughs> um, now, with that being said, though, I don't think it's smart to start anything new now, since this kind of is a good place to end it for today. Um, that just means I won't see you next week. As I've said, I'm going on vacation. There will be probably be one or two smaller video drops next week. I'll schedule this all maybe um, tonight before I go to sleep and stuff. But then again, next stream will be on Monday, the week after next week, if that makes sense. 
Thank you all for tuning in, though. This was a very fun, very short and very early stream for me. But now I'm full of energy and ready to tackle my boring work, as always. And with that being said, thanks for tuning in. I'm Freeze Engine, and I will see you next stream. Uh, and I'll leave you with... Oh, monkey. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>